Mr Clark, please. Yes, thank you, Madam President. I too have struggled with the uh, rationale behind this debate and the terminology, deontology. But according to Recycle A, it says deontology of business conduct, such as the duty of care, transparency, risk management, board practices, or the exercise of shareholders' rights. Um, Whereas the collegue, may crisis, I et cetera, interrupt et you? If I may continue, Madam Chairman? Yes, no, but just you're, you're reading the Lena report. No, I'm speaking in your own language, so you don't need to put your... Uh, yeah, I, I still don't uh, hear you very okay. much. Okay. Um, but you're just reading the Lena report, which is the report in the main committee, and which is not uh, the report by Mr. Le Yarrick, huh? But it seems to explain deontology, which is what we're talking about. May I continue? Given that deontology is as stated, and listening to the debate around me, it's perfectly proper for businesses to take advice from those who have analysed, as it says here, and come up with suggestions. But that and requiring or ordering them to take certain cases, to take certain practices on board, to organise them, to tell them what to do, or for this committee to get towards or work towards a framework which tells company what to do is a totally different matter. And I would reject that totally and completely. Advice, yes. Requirement, no. Thank you.